a little better on this one, but I got tape in there. Yeah. I'll get all of that off. Golly, really? <laughs> I just got it like that, so I don't really even know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to get them fixed up for you. Thank you. Gotta fight, gotta fight. I think I got a, got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a call up. guys this is team hard life captain albert sartuccia and i'll be doing a mitchell 300 pro so yeah i'm getting some spinning reels in the library yeah buddy and i don't know if y'all got to see the one where i did the uh stratic on there with 40 pound he wants to go ahead and do the same with this one and we'll see how it goes Y'all can hear all the rain. It is storming over here, guys. Hope y'all are staying safe wherever y'all are at. There's been a lot of storms lately. Tornadoes and stuff, so prayers are going out to everybody. It's, yep. Coming down. Pouring cats and dogs outside right now.
Now this pool don't have any markings on it, but I already passed up 50 yards right now. Forty yards of forty pound Portland on this trail. Yeah, we'll be safe. Not bad for a Mitchell three hundred, man. I'm really surprised because I didn't not know exactly how much braid I was gonna get on this reel of this size. But this forty pound is really, really putting on some good numbers, guys. And then what I also do too. I'm doing a hollow core splice on itself over here, basically a loop in, and basically I'm turning the end of its line into an 80 pound tippet, which helps for knot tying and everything else, abrasion resistance and stuff. So that's the beauty of the hollow core lines. Doesn't matter if it closes, it's just I like to have that little loop in. So that way if they don't have a line keeper, they can make a loop around their reel or whatever. But since these smaller reels do have it, it does work out very nice. Mm-hmm. 